One of their major threats to coral reefs is predation by the crown of thorns sea star, or COTS. And as environmental conditions change, such as warming ocean temperatures, the amount of COTS in the ocean is just ever so more increasing, which means the amount they predate date on coral reefs also is increasing. So controlling them is very important. People have been trying to just remove them from the water, killing them from various chemicals, ripping them up, all sorts of things. But cots, just like many other sea stars, are broadcast spawners, which means when it's time to reproduce, they just cast all of their eggs and sperm into the water column. And if one starts to do it, then all the other ones in the surrounding area start to do it as well, which means that if your removal methods are actually causing them to spawn or reproduce, you're just creating more baby sea stars that are going to turn into adult sea stars that you eventually have to remove as well. One of the other methods to getting rid of cots is actually injecting them with vinegar, believe it or not. Vinegar will kill them. And so this paper wanted to see if, in a short-term study, if injecting cots with vinegar would actually trigger a spawning event. And luckily, it seems that's not the case. In a short-term study, a couple days after injecting them with vinegar, the cots died and they didn't reproduce before they died, meaning this is, could be a very effective control for the cot sea stars, helping out the future of our coral reefs. Keep it science, you guys!